Hey everybody, I feel like this is going to be awful close, but I'll try it. I want to, I really want to work in my um, art journal. I'm going to use several mediums. I'm going to use Mod Podge. I'm probably going to use some texture paste. And this is a, like a gel texture paste. Uh, maybe these stencils. Uh, I'll probably use some of these Distress Stains, Spray Stains by Tim Holtz. <coughs> Excuse me. And maybe this Liquitex uh, Burnt Sienna ink. I'm going to use this magazine, uh, these two cutouts, and then I'm going to use this ephemera I've got. I've gotten these in Happy Mails, and um, there's like cutout things like this and this, um, some hearts, some material some foam and some wood pieces and flowers and things. And I just want to do, I don't know, I feel like I want to do some kind of a scene. And um, I may do some stamping. I really haven't decided totally what I'm going to do. Um, probably some painting. So I'm just going to start by like, I don't know. I guess I'll get the gesso down first. My husband is late from work today, so I figured, you know, I've got some time. I think I'll just go ahead and start this and see, like, how far I get. So my first thing is I have a brush I use for gesso. So that's, I'm just going to get that, like, wet. And then here's my, or my Mod Podge or gesso. I use it for both. I use this for the Mod Podge. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Mod Podge down. And let me just... And I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put this flower thing like on here and I'm going to make sure it's like this and I'll put some over here too. Um, yeah, because this works really good if you're like trying to get stuff like stuck down initially, especially if you're doing any kind of paper stuff, um, this really works well. So I'm going to put this down, okay, and then I'm just going to do this over it to, like, make sure it's stuck down really well. And of course this dries clear. <clears throat> It does dry, to me, it dries a little shiny, even though it says matte. I'm not sure, you know, that I totally agree with it being matte. And because it's a pastoral scene, I just, I don't know, I want this cow in here. <laughs> I just like this picture, so I'm putting this down too. Who knows what this is even gonna look like. I just got this little bit of an idea in my brain and I don't even know what I want to do. So I'm just going to, this is what I'm going to start because I want the background on here first before anything else. Um, and I will have some other pieces I'm going to Mod Podge, but I really want to do um, coloring uh, first. So I'm just going to stick that in water so it doesn't get all stiff. And um, this is really wet. So I'm just going to do a quick dry.
one I have to do, I didn't want to do a lot, okay? Um, it's pretty dry. So now I need to get um, some color down on here. And I think that I'm going to use some of my watercolor to start. <coughs> Excuse me. I just feel like, I don't know, making a mess, I guess. So I'm going to take uh, my biggest watercolor brush. I'm going to use this burnt umber. I'm going to use um, some more neutral tones, I think. So this obviously needs to be softened up. Yeah. Just kind of a, I'm just doing like a little like this. Not really worrying about what it's gonna look like. Um, and then what I wanna do actually is, I'm curious with um, doing with some of my watercolor doesn't work the same way on like Mod Podge either. I like that though. Actually, I'm glad I did that. Then I'm just going to go in with some of a burnt sienna color. The other was a burnt umber. So we'll just go in with some of this and then a yellow uh, what's it called? Ochre? A yellow ochre? Okra? I don't know. Go in with a little bit of that. Um, okay. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Just going to pat it. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like fooling around. But I do like the way it's looking. So let's do this up here. He's coming up, so I'm going to have to work on that. And let's do some right here and some here. All right, so then we're going to go back to this color. We'll do some of that right here. Do some here. Do some here and then the yellow color again right here and here okay and then I'm just gonna go back in and do just a little all I'm doing is some tapping of the um, just tapping on it and I think what I want to do is um, actually get a little bit of green down in here and let's put a little bit of green over here I hope I'm in frame enough that um, you can see what's going on there okay there so it's just you know it's not a lot just a little bit of color so let me take my brush out of there. And I probably that's all I'm going to even do with my watercolor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my watercolor away. So now before I <clears throat> put some more things on here, I wanna experiment um, with these uh, distress spray stains. Um, I'm probably gonna do the same thing with the baby wipe. You know, I just don't know. I'm just like playing around and I better get some cardboard under here if I'm thinking about, even thinking about making a mess, right? Because <laughs> you know what happens when you do make a mess. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so bad with spray, you guys. I really am bad with spray. 
Okay. And I'm kind of wondering what would happen if I dry. Okay, not what I was, doesn't do anything. I, I have very little experience with this. So this is gonna be some more of the tapping. Cause this, I do want a sky, of course, but I'm not gonna like go nuts all. Okay. Maybe just a little bit down here and a little bit here. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take the green and I'm going to just um, spray down oh, here as well. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to take my, just move it around a little like this, okay? And I think that's a nice backdrop and I'm gonna come up here with a little bit of the green up here with this. Okay, now, as I said, I'm having a little bit of trouble. This guy does not want to stay down. So, I'm going to just put some glue stick there for now. Okay, and just later if I have to, I'll do some more um, Mod Podge on it. Okay, so there's my background. Um, I think I'm happy with that. I have this liquid, this ink, Liquitex ink, which I'm not using yet, because I'm still thinking about that. Um, <clears throat> I took out water to spray in case I wanted to spray. Um, what I really want is for this to dry. that didn't take long. Now what I want to do is I want to put down, um, I think with tacky glue, um, some of these pieces. So I'm just going to take one of my brushes that, you know, cheap brush that I don't really care about. Um, doesn't matter if it's going to get a little icky. Because like I said, I'm going to use um, some glue. <clears throat> and... Let's see how my taping's going. Okay, it looks like you can kind of see good what I'm doing. So I just, really what I want to do is just get this wood stuff down. And I'm going to just um, put just a bunch of this tacky glue down on a piece of paper. And then all I'm gonna do is just take this brush that I've got and I'm going to just brush the tacky glue on. And I think that will make sure that it sticks. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah, you know, sometimes I just feel like I want to do something, create something. Um, I don't remember who gave me this. I have some tiny little wood things that, and like die cut things that my a dear pen pal of mine and Scotland gave me. A friend in India gave me some. And then these other wood pieces, I don't remember. Um, I'm thinking my friend in France gave me some, but I'm not 100% positive. But anyway, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just stick it down right there and okay I like that and I've got more <laughs> I'm like I'm just gonna put all these down because I want to make 
a page full of these kind of like cool things. And then I might um, do some spraying. Let's put some more of this glue down. Um, I might spray some more of the distress inks on here. Honestly, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm kind of just having fun, you know? And I have some time and I thought, you know, why not? Now, I'm gonna put this right here on that cow. I like cows. I grew up around cows, so I just like cows. Yep. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to put that there. <clears throat> now these I know I got from my friend Sylvia in France. Um, this particular one, I got two of these. And they've got like a wood on them and I want to like bark. So I'm just thinking that they would be so cool on, at the top. And this stuff is gonna be thick, like make my page thick, but that's okay because I can just go a few pages ahead and um, I'm not really worried about it because I just want something that's really like, I don't know, different things stick out and you know I just think it's cool and then here's a plain star that I'm going to put right there okay and then um, there's some cute things things here. I have a camera. I have some cameras, like little veneers. I got a little bitty horse. I've got a bear. I love the bear. Um, and he's actually got a sticky thing on him to stick. But I'm going to take that off because I want him to be a little bit flatter. I'm going to put some more tacky glue down. If my husband comes home when I'm doing this or the camera turns off, then that's okay. I'll probably just do this as a part one and get it up. And then I can have the part two later. Okay, so this bear is going right there. And I'm going to get this heart. See, then when I get some of these on, like the heart and stuff, if I want, I can do more to this. Okay, and then there's this little horse. These are so cute. Oh my goodness, I am just loving these little things. I'm thinking the horse would be really cute right here by the um, <laughs> by the cow. Don't you think? I do. And let's see. I have another heart, and I'm just going to do that because you know I'm never really sure what to do with these wood veneers, and so. I just thought that um, doing something weird and fun, and, and even if it's in a book like this, and I know it's not going to close all that great, um, I don't really care, I guess. Oops, I do care that I'm getting glue everywhere. I'm just using a tacky um, glue. And now I have some words. Um, this is the word awesome. So I'm going to stick that, another awesome word, but I'm going to stick it right there. Okay, got lots of words. Today, choose joy. I like that word a lot, that phrase. 
Let's put that up here. Okay. This one says amazing. I've almost got the wood used up and then I'm going to um, probably use some other things. Put that over here by the horse. Um, I got this camera. And, oops, that's kind of going through. I'm going to put that down here. Okay. All right. Um, oh, and this leaf. I really like this leaf. Once I get these down, then I want to work on some of the... Um, die like the die cuts I think they're from like circuit machines and stuff um, so I'm gonna want to like do something with those okay I have two little cameras left and I'm not gonna use those I'm not gonna use everything um, I want to use a little bit more of the tacky glue because I like this. This also is from my friend in Scotland. I'm thinking, oops, thinking I'm going to have to do some scrubbing on this desk when I'm done. So I'm just like, ugh, making a mess. I'm going to put this up here. Okay. I will be washing this rag, obviously. Okay, and it's okay that like some of this stuff comes through on here, but I really want that in there. All right, so I'm gonna save the other one. Uh, I decided I'm not going to use, I'm gonna use one of these flowers. Um, maybe two of the flowers. I'm gonna use this. And that's how I'm going to use those. So I'm just like, I'm just looking at some of the stuff I picked up. I'm um, deciding for sure if I want to use it. And I'm sticking things in the glue that I don't want to stick in the glue. Okay, anyway. I got a couple foam pieces, or one foam piece I'm going to put down. These are all things, like I said, from Happy Meals. And I just, um, I just really wanted to use them, you know. This also has a thing for sticking down, but I prefer to just stick this in the glue, this cute flower, and then I'm going to put it right here. And then I have this cute flower, oops, which now might come apart because I'm not being very careful with it. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay. All right. So I think that's, I don't need my tacky glue for anything else. So I'm just going to cover that up because it's a mess. All right. So I'll put that away. <clears throat> so as you can see, I just have a bunch of stuff stuff glued on here. Um, I kind of want to put this one. I'm going to save the other part. I'm just kind of going through and looking at my stuff and figuring out um, what I think is going to work on something. And I feel like um, I feel like I almost need to use the tacky glue again for this. You know, I thought I was done. Let's just bring it back out. Just because I want to be sure that um, it sticks.
Whoa, I don't know if you heard that noise upstairs, but sometimes I think that the teenage girls up there are doing like gymnastics or something. Craziness. Now the question is, where do I want this? And I think I want it right here. Okay. I think my friend Stacy made that for me. I'm afraid my memory is not the best. All right, I think the rest of this is going to be Mod Podge. So, the glue, I believe, is done. And the rest is going to be Mod Podge. Okay. And let's see, particularly this has to be, now I have to figure out where I want it to, because isn't it just gorgeous? This is gorgeous. So it's okay to go like this. I can just like spread it around. It's not a problem. Um, this is so, so pretty. I just absolutely love this. And when I blow dry this, you know, dry it, it'll be gorgeous, of course. Okay, just want to make sure it sticks down. Um, and I got this little church, and I had really wanted to use it, but now I see it's not going to work here. So, but I do have some woody, woodland things that I wanted to use, so... Um, I'm going to put these, going to put this, oops, Ugh, it's not going to work where I want it, darn, alright, I'm going to put it here, okay, ah, I'm dripping it everywhere, <laughs> I know that camera is going to go off soon. Which is okay, because that'll give me opportunity to, like, dry this mess up of mine. <laughs> um, put this one here. Yeah, the thing with art journaling is you just do what you want, you know? You aren't stuck doing stuff this certain way. In my opinion, there are no rules in art journaling. You just do what you want to do, okay? So there's my tree. I don't want it to match podge on there necessarily. Um, I got some things I don't know what they are, but do want to do a few little uh, things yet. Okay. I know this is going to turn off really soon, so I'm just like doing what I can. Um, Trying to see if you can see everything I've been doing. Um, I think you can. Okay. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I want to put on here. It's just going to be this conglomeration. Oops. And that's called <laughs> way too much Mod Podge, people. Okay, so we're going to put one here. And I'm going to put an, another little pot right there. Oops. And I think ugh, this is supposed to be a bush. So I'm going to put it over here. What a mess. I got like, I got, like Mod Podge everywhere in my hands. Oof. Okay. Um. 
and I have some words special. So I'm just going to put those down. Okay. Um, our day just the save. or love or something. It looks like save. Save the date. That's what it is. But I'm not going to use that for that. Oh, because that's a good one for up here because um, here I am. I just put that cow in just because. Alright. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Friend. Let's put that up here. Okay. And I think... I think that's all. Oh my gosh, my hands are like a mess. <laughs> and I feel like I got everything everywhere. So I'm going to dry this um, and then... Um, I will come back and just do some other things, so um, I'm not going to do it right now on camera because this is going to take a while to dry. So I will be back.